Hello everyone, Amanda here from scrimpymommy.co.uk. Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute miniature magazine file folder and it's for on your desk and inside you can store your 3x3 three three, um, notepad blocks and your 3x3 three three sticky notes. Add a little pen and how cute is that? <laughs> it's really cool so let's get started and I'll show you how you can make one of these for yourself so first of all you are going to need a sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock now I'm going to be using black um, one alternative to be budget friendly is to use the back parts of your DSP pads those are often 12 by 12 you can use those or you can use any cardstock um, that you have in your crafty stash so I'm going to cut this first of all to 8 and 3 quarters by 7 8 and 3 quarters and I am in inches 8 and 3 quarters by seven um, so that's eight and three quarters by seven okay. and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, try and use my white gel pen to show you where the score, score marks are. Ah, so on the long side which is the eight and three quarter side you want to score at one and a half We'll just get that straight. One and a half. Let me see if it will let me. Yeah. One and a half, four and three quarters. Um, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're turning it on the short side and we're going to score first of all at um, one and a quarter so one and a quarter which is there but we only want to score this panel here so we're not scoring here and we're not scoring here so we're just scoring in this section here okay so let me make a pen mark so you can see and then we want to move over and score at five and three quarters doing the same so five and three quarters but only in this section here okay so I'm moving my marker my scoring marker and I'm just scoring between those two points and then I'll just go over it with my white gel pen so that you can then see what I've done because I'm using black okay so then we can take that out, I think, can we? <laughs> Let me just check that I've done that right. Then what we need to do after that is we need to score at two and three quarters. Okay, and we are scoring all the way top to bottom, two and three quarters, and then four and one quarter. All the way top to bottom. Okay. So let me just show you those marks with a white pen. So two and three quarters, all the way top to bottom, and four and one quarter, all the way top to bottom. All right. So then you have that. Now we're going to do some good old measuring and what we need to do is from this middle section here we need to score up on either side at one and a half inches okay so turn it towards yourself and from there up to one and a half inches and make a mark turn it around and do the same there one and a half inches leave a mark all right and then so this is going to be the bottom so then what we need to do is at the top here at the top end we need to make score uh, little marks from the inside score line out and we need to make a mark at half an inch so turn it around towards yourself where you've got these two lines we're going to measure outwards at half an inch and we're going to make a little mark and we're going to do the same here half an inch 
make a mark. Now if you you know you can use pencil and rub it out or if you're really clever and precise use your trimmer. Then we're going to join those two dots up to create an angular line okay and we're going to do the same over here. Alright that is all the complicated bits done. Oops I'm dropping my pen. So that is the top and that is the shape that you will end up with okay. So oh, this is the fun part. So now this is where you need to pay attention. So if the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut away these angular lines. Now you'll, when I finish mine you might be able to see some white gel pen. Obviously you won't on yours. I, I have left those so that you can see. Now here's a tip. These triangular pieces that you have cut away, if you want to cover all of your side with DSP, I've just done a strip, keep those because it will help you measure the angle there that you've cut away. It'll help you a bit. <laughs> it might do. I've chosen to do a strip because it's easier. So now what we can do is we can fold and burnish all of these score lines. Okay. So that's that. And that's that. And that's that. You just can't, the only one you can't fold and burnish is yet are these here. Okay. So... What we're going to do now is first of all we're going to hold it this way around with this slanty bit to the left and we're going to cut up this long section here. Okay, and then we're going to cut up this section here. And then we're going to turn it around and we're going to cut up this long section here. It's very as you can see, it's super difficult. <laughs> I think this is the easiest thing ever. And I think it's really cute. Great for Mother's Day. A brilliant um, teacher's gift, co-worker gift, whatever. Now, um, I have scarred that way. So now what you want to do is you want to fold your other scar line, which is the centre of here. Okay, I'm folding this way because that's the way I've done my scar lines. All right. And I'm folding it in there. So now this is where we want to start and adhere everything together. It's really easy. I'm going to use snail. You use wet glue or strong adhesive. So first of all, you want adhesive on these. Fold these two bottom ones in. You want adhesive on those. Okay. Just don't stick yourself together while you do it. I'll probably stick myself to the mat which I have okay so we've got adhesive on those we want to have adhesive on the inside of these here on the, okay and that's it so far so then what you want to do is you want to lift this section up and then these you want to fold around so you're tucking so you tuck in this section and you're going to fold that over this section here. I hope you can understand what I mean because it is black, let me show you. So you're lifting that up like that, okay, and this flap here, you've got a scar there, you're going to lift it over, line it up, okay, and then you're going to fold that one inside, that is a reinforcing section okay so let me show you again so we've lifted that up that goes across much like a box flap lift that side up and line them up and idea that and then tuck that section in okay have I done that straight yeah so I'll put it straight and then all you have to do then is lift up the side parts and idea those down as well okay so the easy guideline here is where your straight edge is, going straight across to the scar line. This is the area you want to put adhesive, not this area. Okay, as long as you stop your adhesive there, where that straight part finishes, you'll be fine. And the same at the other side. Now, 
you can knock these up in no time they're awesome now that section um, it doesn't go all the way to there it does stop slightly short but you're going to cover that with DSP now if you wanted you, you could layer it with different coloured cardstocks there's a million and one things that you can do um, there you go and there is your little file folder and also well, another thing you could do is you could make a few of them and you could glue them together in a row like so how cool would that be so you could have them doubled up okay another thing you can do is you can have one going that way we've all seen the IKEA hacks with file folders you can have one like that you can have one like that okay and then stack them on top of each other I wonder if they'd fit a no, I don't think they would. I was just wondering if they'd fit an ink pad. <laughs> I bet they'd fit the distress, um, Tim wants distress ink. So let's have a look. No, don't fit an ink pad. But, you know, you could put other things. So you can stack them that way as well. Okay, you could maybe store your, um, let's have a look. You could put some pens in, stamping blends, whatever. There's loads of different ways that you could use these, but I've used it as a little stationery, a little desktop stationery station. So let's do the DSP. So the DSP, you need to cut to one and three eighths of an inch strip. So one and three eighths, one, two, three, one and three eighths. Let your imagination just, uh, you know, Take the idea, take the template, make one, and then you'll think of a million things you can do with them. Right, so for the sides, it needs to be one and three eighths by three and one eighth. Okay, so you want two of those. I'm not bothered if the paper runs um, concurrent or not because it's a busy pattern, it doesn't matter. So there's my two sides, and then for the front and the back, we want one and three eighths by one and three eighths. One, two, three. One and three eighths. Oh, one, two, three. I love easy crafting and I love little tiny little cute little things. <laughs> I love, I, you know, craft fair ideas. I love them. Little gifts that you can make that are inexpensive. You've already got this stuff. You know, use what you've got. Um, the paper that I'm using is the beautiful. Painted Seasons from Stampin' Up, which you can get for free um, during celebration on a £45 or over order. And it is absolutely stunning, especially this sheet. Look at that, it's gorgeous. I'm loving it. And, you know, you only need a right little bit of it to accentuate your cardstock, whatever colour cardstock you're using. Um, you know, you only need a right little bit of DSP to just add that bit of colour. Right. Get that on there. Like so. And we'll get that one on there, on the back. I mean, you could go the full, you could go the full length with the DSP on the back and have them in a row like that on your shelf like little mini file folders that would be cute loads and loads of ideas that way does it want to go that way? no it's that way let's have a look stick that in there and then you know I've got the little gold clips little library clips these are called stamping up do these they're quite inexpensive and you get loads I've got loads of these I love them use them in my journals I use them for all sorts so you add a little clip these are some post-it notes uh, um, that are just hanging around on my desk that I've just grabbed to show you so they fit in there and then this is just some paper I've, I've trimmed it on my trimmer to three inches by three inches who can't do that add a pretty bulldog clip i think these are from the pound shop um you know the rose gold's all all the trend add one of those stick it in i think these are from the pound shop as well add a add a fancy pen stick it in a cello bag tie it, tie a bow on the top and you've got a great gift I hope you'll give that a try. I think that's really cute. Um, I'm going to make some more and have a, quite a few lined up on my desk um, like that because I think that'll look really cute. <gasps> 
give it a try if you do use it uh, use the idea when you make some please do share come and show me on Facebook tag me on Instagram Scrimpin Mama or Amanda Charlesworth because uh, I do love to see what you make so I hope you'll give that a try all of the details all of the measurements all of the scoring will be over on my blog at scrimpinmama.co.uk thanks for watching see you soon